Good morning, Rash. I'm Chris Lathan. Richard Norris underwent the most extensive facial transplant in history 15 months ago. It was all due to the fact Joshua Aversana's parents decided to donate their deceased son's face. Today has the incredible story behind the 36-hour surgery. We just felt like this is something that he would want to do. You know, out of, out of this tragedy, something good could happen. Norris hid from the world for 15 years after a shotgun accident disfigured his face when he was 22 years old. Aversano had plans to become a Marine, but he was tragically hit by a car when crossing the road and put on life support at the same hospital as Norris. Doctors told the Norris family the 21-year-old's injuries were so extensive that he would only live on life support. That's when Norris's parents decided to make the donation. It also gave a mother who lost a son a chance to see his face again. And did you reach out and hug him? Yes. When he came in, yes, I did. The Department of Defense funded the experimental face transplant surgery to gain research and insight into helping U.S. troops wounded on the battlefield. The Telegraph says Norris's transplant is considered the most extensive ever because it included transplantation of the teeth, upper and lower jaw, a part of the tongue, and all of the tissue from the scalp to the base of the neck. Norris, now 37 and donning the young face of a 21-year-old, can smell and taste, and according to New York Daily News, can even smile again. He said, I can now go out and not get the stares and have to hear comments that people would make. People used to stare at me because of my disfigurement. Now they can stare at me in amazement and in the transformation I have taken. The doctor in charge of the operation said Norris is exceeding expectations and is one of the most courageous individuals he knows.